Hello everyone and welcome back to Crushed Bandicam! It is I, Drunken Dan, and we are still playing the first Crash game. Uh, I actually was thinking about it lately. Um, if you guys want, I might do the entire trilogy, but don't expect um, any of them to be 100% runs. Because, uh, you fuck that. <laughs> I mean, I wouldn't mind doing two or three on my own, but, you know, just for LP's sake. But, uh... I can't wait to get it done with Crash 1. I'm a lot further in Crash 1 on my own playthrough, and I gotta say, God, this game gets really annoying later on. It's 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 almost weird going back to stages like this, where I'm going to have, you know, a relatively peaceful time, comparatively. Like, I just finished the level where you're, um... It's the fucking... It's like a level or two after the the uh, lab. It's like a vertical platforming section. And uh, I probably mentioned in a video before, I hate vertical platforming sections. And uh, there's a reason why I'm glad they are gone from Crash after this game. I love Crash's face. Oh god! That's gonna bite me in the ass later. Don't worry. I'm a professional loser. It's fine. <laughs> I gotta say, I love the animation in this game, like, like I like Crash looking back at the boulder and his facial expression. I know they did that in the old game, but, you know, it's obviously a lot nicer now in the current game as my ear itches and I have to scratch it before I can play the video game. I'm a professional, as you can tell. I've been doing this shit for years, and I'm just only the more professional than I ever was. Sadly, that's not even a lie, technically. My older content was much less professional. I've done some really stupid shit. I mean, some of you are probably aware of watched the fucking Flash Cheats video. I'm gonna be honest with you. I hate that video. I hate it. It's awful. It's terrible. Why do people watch it? Seriously, what's wrong with you? And I got a gem. This will be like one of two gems I get. It'll be it. Don't expect any more. If you expect... If you expect any more, I know English, um, I'm, I'm sorry. You're in for disappointment. Raiyaku Aku, the shape-shifting master of darkness who unleashed the unspeakable evil, but a foolish samurai warrior tried to date my daughter, and then a time paradox erased her. Well, I just spoiled Samurai Jack. Shit. Um, sorry? Fuck. I might have to put a spoiler warning tag in this video. I'll have to do that in editing. I'll just do like a fucking like text thing that blares up like a spoiler incoming in X amount of seconds. And then BAM. Stupid tra Jack spoiler. You know, at least one person's gonna go back and go, I wonder what he's talking about! I can't figure it out! You know, I honestly wish this game had more of these levels. I know, um, Crash 2 and 3, I think, have more of them. I feel like this had less. This game had less of these than, uh, the pre the, uh, the sequels. But then again, this game had more of those vertical platforming sections that are from HELL! Okay, that was, that was me being stupid. I mean, this game is impossibly hard. This is the Dark Souls of Let's Play. <laughs> this game does get really hard, though. I'm not gonna lie to you and tell you this game is the easiest fucking game on the planet. It is hard. Especially when you're half awake. I should have drank coffee before I recorded. But that would only make sense and would lead to me not dying. At least that's the first death in this video. I almost said it in the series and then I remembered I'm pretty damn sure I died at least two times in the last video. Uh, don't, don't quote me on that, please. I actually almost got my ass bit by that fucking piranha. That would have been funny for you. Not so funny for me. As my eyes slowly close, slumber catches up with me. I fall into a deep sleep. Death. The fake bandicoot is with us. Man, I hope I get to see the fake Crash Bandicoot at least one time during this playthrough. For those of you who don't know who he is, man, you're in for a treat if I ever see him. What a guy yourself. Oh, you know, that's something I should probably do on, on my playthrough of this and even on my solo playthrough is go back and get Aku Aku masks from easier levels. They'll probably make some of the levels a lot more bearable. Because fuck some of those levels. 
Like seriously, this isn't even the hard parts yet. This is the easy shit. I think I actually used this level to get a bunch of lives at one point in my solo playthrough. I think I used this one in I think the boulder level. Which for some reason I'm good at those. I actually usually don't die on this level. I was actually a little surprised that I died. There's also a lot of easy lives to get in the two of them. Well, actually in this one. The other one's good for getting quick wampa fruits. Don't call them apples. Otherwise you'll be sued by um, Dr. Cortex. Yeah, you know, he's a real person. Just ask Slash Slang. Ask him, is Dr. Cortex a real person? Ask him on Twitter. I'm sure he won't be confused. Or he'll make a dumb joke. Do it either way. Don't do it. It's stupid. I'm stupid. Ignore me. I'm half awake. I'm rambling. I need coffee. Where are the other gems? Mo how do I even... How would I even do this? Do you guys know? Feel free to like, comment, subscribe, and tell me as Crash Bandicoot gets a concussion. I think in this video I'll actually be able to fight the first boss, who is piss easy. As a small bab, I struggled with him because I was stupid. I wish there was a little bit more going on in the loading stream other than Aku Aku mugging you and just staring at you and floating there menacingly. I think the old loading streams were just like a JPEG, though, to be fair. I think. Oh, yeah, this funny enough. Here's the final boss. I mean, yeah, the final boss. Yeah, this is the end of the game. Congratulations, I've beaten the game. Papu, Papu. How you doing, fat man? Hey, look, it's Chris Christie! Haha, <laughs> topical jokes! I'm gonna close the beach if I can't get rid of health care. Okay, okay, maybe I should stop screwing around. Because he's gonna fucking wail on me. I knew that was gonna happen too. But I just stood there and just took it like an idiot. Woo! Miss me. Now you gotta kiss me. I think in the original game he only took three hits. But either way, he's an easy boss. You just literally smack him on the head. Like, he's really easy. You know what I miss? Crash just like jumping into the air and going, yee It looked so bad, but you know, I wish it. Listen, those were advanced graphax for their time. Don't insult the advanced graphax. You know, it's sad. I actually beat that the first time on my solo playthrough without even getting hit. I am tired. That's my excuse. I'm going to stick to it. Every death from this point on in the LP is just I'm tired. Even though I'm not recording this in one run. It's fine. So here's Coco's time machine. So in the Insane Trilogy, you can play as Coco for some levels. Not all of them, just some of them. But obviously I want to have her around, because I'm going to play as her occasionally, because she has some of her own animations. Rolling Stones. Would you like to be on your own? Like a Rolling Stone! No, don't worry, I'm not funny and I know it. It's fine. It's fine. I hate me too. I wonder if anyone ever realized I crack my voice like that because for some reason I think it's funny. No one else thinks it's funny, but I think it's funny. So if any of you were curious, all none of you, as to which one of the insane trilogy is my favorite, I don't know if I mentioned this in one of the other parts, but I would say my favorite one is three. Mind you, that could change when I replay it, because the last time I played any of the Crash games was like... I was starting college. Oh man, if I had two Aku Akus, this would make this fucking easy. You know, if I had it already and, you know, got the super. But, uh, yeah, so in this one you can play as Coco. As I ramble up from topic to topic. Moving from topic to topic. It's so hypnotic. Not incredibly unbroken. Okay, okay, I'll stop. I'll stop. Maybe. Possibly. Probably not. Goodbye! Stupid. Piranha plant. I'm not gonna lie, those piranha plants are like borderline copyright infringe. Even as a kid, I was like, Mario? Um, well, now I'm invincible. Cool. It's like one of the two times in the LP, you'll see. <laughs> I was invincible, though. I had such power. How could a meager pick end the life of me? <laughs> Be fair though, I couldn't see that shit. Okay, so my goal here is to try and break all these because I think one of them has an extra life. Well, ah! I live. 
But, uh, but at what price? <laughs> I forgot to hit the attack button. <laughs> I'm a genius. Look at me. I'm a genius at Crash Bandicoot. I can play video games. As long as I can't play video games. No, there's a gun over here now. Let's not get killed by this turtle again. <laughs> I can't believe I fucking did that. <laughs> oh, okay, there wasn't a pit this time. I was like, it's gonna be a pit. I remember as a kid, those rolling boulders scared the bejesus out of me. I was always, always nervous doing one of those jumps. Nowadays, I'm just stupid. So I just don't care. Sometimes. I know some of those fall. I don't remember which ones though. Uh, okay. And now. And now. Because I don't feel like dying. Oh! Um. Hey! I did it! I meant to do that. Why don't you ignore the fact that it was an accident? Buddha Baga! Buddha Bagu! Buddha Bee! Buddha Ow! I can play video games. Why, why are you laughing? I didn't die at all in this video. <laughs> Not even thrice. Oh. I hope you enjoy watching me fall down a pit with you. Like, that's what's gonna happen here. Oh, yeah. Here we go. Time for pitfalls. Pitfalls the video game. I think this game is why I said pits were my weakness in video games. Can I get up there? No. I better go back to that crack that I had, though. Because, you know, with... I, I mean, I, I'm incredibly gifted in this game and never die. But, you know, it, it doesn't hurt. You know, you can have more crash heads. It's fine. I don't die ever. I'm the greatest of this game. In fact, I'm speed running it right now. Subscribe to my YouTube channel for speed runs. Oh, I get it. I, 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 I panic. I love how the laptop flies up. I, I fucking panic. It's okay. <laughs> okay. Okay, that was, that was a thing that happened, all right? Okay, that was just me being impatient. Don't worry. I'll have two lives by the end of this video. Possibly. I'm lucky. Get out of here, you fucking badger thing. You know, actually, I didn't do this on my uh, my own playthrough. So, these are the umbri uh, embryo... Uh, not umbryo. The embryo bonus games, and they're a lot harder than the regular ones. Because embryo's a dick. Almost like he's a villain or something. At least there's a lot of lives. Hey, look! I'm making back all those lives I lost. I'm going over here. Have fun blowing up. There was probably an extra life in those, but guess who didn't feel like getting exploded? How you doing? Oh, I guess he doesn't like goyles. Or well, furry goyles. You know, I, I want to make I want to make a statement right now, though. I enjoy that Coco keeps her laptop with her at all times. It's important. Whoever, who, whoever or whomever on the development team pushed for Coco to keep her laptop on her at all times, they are the true hero of this game. I don't have a gold, the blue gem, so I can't have that. I understand it now, and I'm never going to be able to get it. Fuck you too. At least this would be a good level of a farm for extra lives, so we can use the bonus games. Don't you beat me up, I didn't have a gem, it's not hard, you jerk. Uh, what's the next level? I think I might stop recording here, though. I may just see what the next level is, and then I'll decide if I want to stop recording. Me and my weird obsession with the video game lately. I think I might have admitted in a video that I really didn't like the original Crash. Ooh, Hog Wild. That would be, that would be, that's good for next time. I think that's a good starter for next time, because um, I think like one or two of the levels coming up are gonna get I'm gonna be stuck on for maybe a little bit. Uh, also, 
Uh, they lie when they said fully playable. There are some levels Coco cannot play on, and it sucks. Uh, she cannot ride on the hog. It makes me depressed. Like, I get you don't want her to wiggle her eyebrows suggestively at the hog. But come on, just make her shrug or something. Like, you already animated her on the tiger. Put her on the damn pig and the polar bear in the second game. This is something. I don't know what. Anyway, that's enough Crash Bandicoot for me. Uh, for today, at least, you know. Uh, I, I love this game, and um, I recommend this uh, insane trilogy, if you will. And uh, tune in next time for more insane trilogy. Have a good day.